go. I'm gonna break down this dark sample that I made as part of my um, as you can see, each G pack and stuff, you know. But I'm gonna break this down. I'm gonna play it and then I'll break down things that I did. Alright, so let's get into it. Ready. Alright. So we're gonna get straight into it. For this, I use mostly all reasons instruments in this. So no, there's no VSTs involved in this situation. I use String along, string it along. The regular, you know, radical piano, stereo, ambience, and close. A uh, little RC20 on it. I used uh, Pure Angelic. This guy he has very good RC20 presets. Not gonna lie. You know what I mean? If you use them as a basis, then you just mess around. That's why I just I usually do just mess around with them. You know, presets widener, you know, to spread the piano part. So I'm gonna solo each thing right now and just, you know, get through it. So the piano is <laughs> sustain on the pedal so after I played that out then I went and looked for expand uh, yeah I did use expand so you expand so not more I think I used the uh, basic fat pad and I basically use this as a base that's a pad but I use it as a base After that, use this. Just sounds like an accent, a texture accent. The string along. You know, when you're doing dark melodies, you know, it's sim it's simplicity is always key. But you just want to throw little things in there that just make it stand out more and gives it variation, you know, so that way, you know, if you send it out to other producers or you're using the loop yourself, you know, they can have different variations of the, the loop. Then after that, I went to this breezy hybrid, you know. I kind of like this Frickenton, 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 whatever the way you want to call it. Uh extension is decent that's some cool stuff i use this it's kind of like a flute so, give me a flute there. It give me like chinese flute vibes that's what kind of this thing gave me like chinese flute vibes so mm -hmm. i use that breathy hybrid um Truth be told, I didn't throw no effects on it. I just let it. I just did some cutting. I didn't throw, you know, no RC20 on there. I should do some RC20 on there. So, so by the, but I didn't throw um, really nothing on there. Expand, I ain't throw nothing on it either. Sometimes when I make my samples and loops, I try not to throw uh, too much effects on there. You know, like I want to like, Give it. You want to give it a nice sound, a wide sound, and obviously make it sound nice and clean. But basically, sometimes I just level out, you know, the instruments 
and I'll throw some effects on there and I'll just explore like that. Cause you gotta understand, if somebody else is using your loops or your samples, they're gonna throw their own effects. So you don't want so much effects on there that's gonna kinda clash with the other person's effects if you wanna throw effects on there. So you gotta think about that, you know what I mean? So all that, you know, you got this. <laughs> So you're on samples, then a sample ain't, ain't nothing. Trash that, all right? Make sure you trash it, too. Um, this, I know it's a quick one, but yeah, it's a simple sample breakdown. So, you could check my other samples out at my website, www.maseratesparks.com. Have some royalty-free samples on my website as well. So, you can definitely check those samples out. I'm going to be dropping some new samples next week, a new pack, as long as I'm going to be dropping MIDI packs as well soon, so just a lot of stuff that I'm working on that I've been doing, you know, so I'm just trying to get back into this tutorial vibe and situation and stuff like that, so I'm also looking for like a video editor too to edit my tutorial video, so if anybody knows somebody, drop a comment, let me know, it, um, you know, this is it, man. Appreciate you guys for watching, stuff like that. And it's going to get bigger and better, man. So just bear with me. Take time, man. And let's, let's get it. Let's go up, man. All right, man. Stay blessed.